Hello friends, welcome to 20 fingers 2 brains. In this video, we are going to show how to highlight a grid view row using JavaScript. So let's begin with our tutorial. In grid view example solution, we have a page grid view example 8.aspx. On this page, we have dragged and dropped one grid view. You can drag and drop the grid view from the toolbar, toolbox data section. Select the grid view and drag drop. And we have named the grid view as GV user details. So let's begin with the coding to get the data. As you can see the first line, in this line we are getting the connection string of the database from where we are going to get the data. The connection string we have written in the web config file. We have given the name to the connection string as my connection and that connection name we are mentioning using the configuration manager dot connection strings dot connection string and that we are getting in a variable str connection string. So this connection string we are going to use in the coding. When the in the page load method we have written a method bind grid view. In this method what we have done is we have written a query select star from user details. This user detail will get the data from the database using the method get data. The get data is having SQL collection and then we are passing the S connection string and in the connection string we are passing the query and the connection and finally using the data adapter we are filling the data table and this method is returning the data table. That data table we are checking whether it's having any row or not. If it's having a row we are binding it to the data table. We are binding it to the grid view. Now begins the coding to highlight each and every row which we are moving our cursor. So to do that for each row we have to bind an event. So right click on the grid properties and go in the event section and here we have a method row data bound. Inside the row data bound we have to check for the each row. If the row type is a data row then for each row we have to bind attributes on mouse over and on mouse out. These two attributes we have to add for each row and in that attributes in those attributes we have to bind a javascript function and in the javascript function we have to pass this this means the row for which we are binding this function so this function javascript function we have written in the script tag of the aspx page here we have two functions set mouse over set mouse out So the JavaScript is this set mouse over, set mouse out. Here from the element we are getting the background color. This is the old background color. We need this old background color because on mouse out we need to set the previous color back. And on mouse over we are setting the background color, the cursor and the text decoration as underline. On mouse out we are setting the background color to old background color and text decoration to none. So it's pretty simple. Let's now debug it. Let's put a breakpoint on the data table where we will get the data and uh, let's see with how it works. So as you can see we have the data table inside the data table using the connection string we have got all the data and finally let's see how it goes in the row data bound method the first row it didn't go inside because it's the header the second row it's going inside it's binding it for all the rest of the rows it will go inside this method and it will bind the functions attribute on mouse over on mouse out with javascript set mouse over and set mouse out So as you can see, it's all binded. Now let's move our cursor over all the grid rows. 
so as you can see it the mouse on mouse over the grid view rows are getting highlighted with all the colors and uh, underlined properties and pointers which we are we have set in the grid view so this was pretty simple tutorial for more videos you can visit our channel youtube.com slash 20 fingers 2 brains or you can visit our blog 20 fingers 2 brains blogspot.com thanks for watching and you can subscribe our channel